Hey guys, what is up? I, Oki here, playing the newly released Yumi. This is day two of Yumi, and uh, she was apparently put out in a quite undertuned uh, state, which is what everybody was saying. So Riot, in their infinite wisdom, thought, hey, why not buff them? Not one time, not two times, not three, four, five, six, seven, eight, or nine times, but ten times. Yumi has been buffed ten times. Uh, so this is this uh, game is being played in higher elo. I believe we are in diamond elo, and we are going to be showing you if these new changes has actually made Yumi into an entire champion, not just a half champion like she was before. So uh, guys, now that I'm safely attached to my ADC, I can go ahead and go over the buffs. So first off, here are her 10 buffs. She got her base mana regeneration increased, her passive mana restored increased when you uh, when you auto attack someone, the passive shield that you get for auto attacking someone has been increased, the projectile damage from her Q has been increased, the, pro the power empowered projectile damage has been increased, the slow that you get on your Q has been increased, the zoomies minimum has been increased. The zoomies maximum heal has been increased. And the damage on your ultimate has been increased. So there it is. Oh my gosh, that is a mouthful. Uh, so let's see, guys. Basically, every single aspect of Yumi has been buffed in one shape or another. One form or another, guys. Uh, so let's go ahead and uh, kind of just let Yumi speak for herself and see if we can get a win. Yeah, some some of the buffs are more than others. I'm not gonna like sit here and go through every single one of the uh, the numbers, but the important thing to know is that every single aspect of her got buffed. Uh, we are also switching up after playing about 20 games of Yumi total so far. I have uh, kind of switched away from the Guardian playstyle and gone for a more AP and airy playstyle. You guys can see my runes down in the bottom left. Nope. Ahead and hit her with one of our E's. So uh, another thing that's kind of been uh, getting popular from people who are daring to play this champion, uh, it's much, much better if you can convince your ADC to go teleport, obviously because it doubles the um, kind of usefulness of teleport since you both get to use it, and also because it allows you to bring heal, take that off of them, and uh, you don't need a flash, so it doesn't really doesn't really inconvenience you. Whew. Not bad, not bad. Her Q actually does damage. Uh, yeah, it's it's a noticeable increase in damage. It's still not a whole lot since she's obviously not meant to be like a straight up like high damage support like uh like Zyra. Ah, darn it. But you definitely can notice the difference. I'm also noticing that I'm having a lot less uh, mana issues early than, than I was before. Like, I'm using spells pretty much at the same rate as I was yesterday, and now I'm not, like, completely tanked out of mana. And watch this, boys. This is why you bring, uh, this why you have your IDC bring teleport. So it's really, really good to pair with, um, champions that uh, get the most out of teleport, like things like Sivir. Oh! What were you doing, my guy? What were you doing, bro? I'm gonna go ahead and heal. Try to get the Q, get the slow. Oh my gosh, guys. Holy, okay. Okay, guys, maybe 10 was too many. <laughs> maybe 10 was too many buffs. Maybe we should have started off with like four or five buffs. You know, really dipped our toes in it before going I, I, I gotta I gotta admit guys uh, people still do not want Yumi on their team despite her getting buffed ten times uh, last lobby the lobby the champions like lobby that I was in right before this one my jungler like begged me not to play Yumi and then I, obviously I locked in Yumi um, and then he threatened to uh, to end the game he's like I'm gonna make you lose oh shit I, th I thought we were rotating to that. I don't want to rotate alone, man. I think we definitely probably could have rotated and helped him out, but... This Sivir is a cold-blooded B-word. Ah, oh, I should have got a Dark Seal. Dark Seal is, re Dark Seal is like basically meta on Yumi since you're so good at keeping the stacks. 
Yeah, I kind of messed up by getting early boots as well. Bit of a kerfuffle. Yeah, definitely not supposed to buy this early boots. That was, that was a mistake on my part. Yeah, dude, I just did 200 damage. Wait, okay. Yumi actually does damage now. Yumi might actually be a champion. Oh, there's another! I got another half health by myself, boys. Yumi can actually do things now. Is that what I'm seeing? <laughs> oh my gosh! Something, something. She's funny, a champion something, now, something, boys. Something clever, something, something. YouTube. Oh, shoot. Oh, that was pretty clever, man. All right, I've got a. We we have ults. We can just run at them. Little sloppy there, little sloppy, but uh, hey, it worked. Not bad, not bad. Good job, thank you, thank you. Uh oh. Uh, this might be diveable. He definitely seems to think so. Oh, I got turned echo. Get me out of here. One for one, definitely not the best. Want to detach, help push for uh, plating. Oh man, yeah, my E definitely uh, the heal is definitely. Hello everyone, spaghetti but, uh, is amazing, and so are you, spaghetti. It's, it's, it's always it's always a gamble to record these videos when you're sh streaming. Um, yeah, the heal is definitely noticeable now. The damage and the heal. Don't quite have teleport up yet, but that's alright. So would you say that she is not you useless anymore? <laughs> I would definitely say that. I would definitely say I mean this is still uh it's still early and people are still figuring out how to play against her as well as like playing with her. I definitely have the advantage of like having played like more than ninety nine percent of other people on Yumi. I mean I still hate you either have to dislodge okay. or rely on allies to aim your ULT for you. And playing Yumi hasn't convinced me. I'd rather sniff Ramya's armor-plated anus than trust my important okay, skill guys. shots to allies. Um... Probably... We can run him down, we can run him down. Visit the GSA at noon est Monday through Friday at... All right, we got them both, boys. We got them both. Easy, easy. All right, Yumi's actually good now, boys. Yumi's a champion now. Oh, there's such a big difference between, like, yesterday Yumi and today Yumi. <laughs> they might have actually overbuffed her. I still would like for them to, like, maybe take away a little bit of her poke damage and put it more into her passive, because her passive is something really, really unique to her. Like, the whole attaching and de detaching and, like, the risk-reward of, like, um... You know, detaching and like taking the risk of dying, as for like the reward of getting your uh, your passive shield. Like I would like for her th her to like be encouraged to detach more often. Whereas right now it's like you pretty much want to play it safe as possible. And I get that's kind of the whole purpose of the champion, but uh oh, don't die, my darling. Don't die, my darling. Beautiful, beautiful. Is she out? I think she's out. I think, and we're going to turn this. We're going to turn this, too. Very nice. Excellent. We got uh, we got TP coming up. We'll just TP right back into the action. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. Let's go. Don't TP. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, I'm buying. I'm buying. I'm buying. Um, Let's go for probably an Ardent Sensor this game. Build's a little sloppy this game. It's all right. Up my boy Vlad, back to the ADC. Does anyone know what got buffed about her? Literally everything, man. Everything. We 
just go in on this guy. He slowed over there. Alright, let's just keep shoving. Let's go for first tower. Oh my gosh, dude, I actually do damage now, man. Woo! Feels so good. Feels so good. I'm going to detach, give myself the heals. Look at that. Just gave myself half my health bar back. I could have had him. I could have had him. If I played that a little cleaner, I could have had him. <laughs> Sivers mad. She didn't get any crits there. All right, so let's look. Uh, Aerie has dealt about 400 extra damage and shielded for about 250. It's not bad. Ouch. All right, my ulti's up. Are we going back? Yeah, definitely. Uh, I got I got a slop, sloppy build going on here today. Obviously, shouldn't have gotten the boots this early, and should have prioritized uh, ardent over any, everything else. But it's all right. Let's go. Personally, I think uh, Yumi is going to be best with the following ADCs: Twitch, just because there's a lot of cheese and that comes with like enabling Yumi to also be invisible with tw Twitch's invis. I think she will be good with Sivir since Sivir can like basically just infinitely shove in, TP back to lane, things like that. And actually, as much as it pains me to say this, I actually think she'll be kind of good with uh, Ezreal's that bring teleport. Just because they're both going to like compound on safe safeness. Oh! Yeah, my boy Sivir. I got him ignited. Got the uh, passive shield. I don't think this is going to go well. Oh, wait, wait, wait. We got him. 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 Holy. Okay. Okay, guys. All right. Now, again, these are diamond players. We're not, like, playing in iron just trying to make Yumi look strong. We've been playing in an actually respectable elo. And Yumi might actually Stinky be cheese, strong, did guys. Did you just say with a straight face Twitch has a lot of cheese, boy? He does, dude. Got a lot of cheese. Stinky cheese. Did you just say with a straight face Twitch has a lot of cheese, boy? Uh, yeah. I did. Okay, this this is definitely the strat, guys. We were we were trying all kinds of uh, all kinds of strats yesterday, trying to make Yumi work. I played her all day long yesterday, man. Like I couldn't get anything to work. We won like two games out of five in Diamond. Might have actually only been one. Oh, I got her! I got her! Dude, I actually deal damage. This is exactly what I wanted. Oh, I have turn I have turn Oh Lord! Somebody get me out of here. I didn't want to hit him there because I would have taken turret aggro and died. Heal myself back up. If I can get an auto, if I can sneak an auto in on someone. That the, the the passive auto definitely becomes like less and less important as the game goes on. It's, it's definitely like a tool that's meant to be uh, used most in laning phase. Nope. He's slowed. He's slowed. Go get him. Go get him. Go get him. All right. Sivir! Oh, I got you, baby. I got you, baby. Woo! Actually a champion now, boys. Can I get a hashtag actually a champion now in the comments?
Gotcha, bud. I gotcha, bud. All right, I've got I've got 24 uh, 24 on a gold. Take me take me back to shop, my noble steed. Nom 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 nom. Wait, look at that passive shield. That's actually huge, dude. That's actually gigantic. I can just give it to anybody too. All right, we got ardent. Uh, we're gonna go for probably we'll go for like a spoo. Uh, let's, let's 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 go grail. Okay. Oh, I hate how it unattaches you, man. I hate that. Least favorite part of the champion. If you recall with someone, it should just leave you attached. Okay. You got Ardent now, girl. You are invincible. You got Ardent. You got Athenes. You want to visit twitch.tv slash i0ki and follow. A little bit of, a little bit of hypnosis. <sighs> what in the world, dude? <laughs> what have they done? What have you done, Riot Games? Holy lord. Yeah, not not even exaggerating. I, I, I actually think Yumi's strong now. Like, very strong. Look at this. What have they done? All right, we're taking we're taking a look at the uh, we're taking a look at the damage chart. We're taking a look at the damage chart. I, obviously, I'm not going to out damage any of these guys, but I want to see how much I've actually done. Mm. I better I better be getting some honors, dude. I was a very honorable cat that game. Okay, I did more damage than Rek'Sai, Nasus, Ezreal, as much as Orn, more than Anivia. Guys, Yumi's actually strong. Let me know what you guys think about the build strat and the champion and the fact that Riot literally buffed her 10 times uh, 24 hours after her release. Uh, thanks for watching. Take it easy. Peace.